In today's video, we'll be exploring JSON Web Tokens, commonly known as JWTs. We'll be explaining a Node.js script that generates and verifies JWTs. JWTs are a compact, URL-safe means of representing claims to be transferred between two parties. They are often used for authorization and information exchange in web applications. Let's set up a Node.js project and begin writing our script. We start by requiring the crypto module. Next, we define a secret key. This key is used in the HMAC algorithm to ensure the integrity and authenticity of the JWT. We then create two utility functions for base64 URL encoding and decoding. These functions convert strings to a URL safe base64 format and vice versa. Now, Let's move on to creating the signature. The signature is a crucial part of the JWT as it ensures that the token has not been tampered with. We use the HMAC SHA256 algorithm to create the signature. To create a JWT, we need to encode the header and payload and then generate a signature. The header typically consists of the algorithm and token type. The payload contains the actual data or claims. Verifying a JWT is just as important as creating one. During verification, we decode the token, recreate the signature using the header and payload, and compare it with the provided signature. Finally, we have a simple command line interface to generate or verify a JWT based on user input. We use process arguments to read command line input. Let's break down how this script works. When you run the script with the generate action, you provide a JSON payload. The script encodes the header and payload, generates a signature, and prints the JWT. Let's execute our script without providing arguments. Here we can see that the script prints the usage. This time, we will execute the script by providing the generate action and payload. We can see the JWT token is generated successfully. We use the verify action followed by the JWT token to verify it. As you can see, the script successfully verifies the token and prints the payload. Let's make changes to the token and re-verify it. This time we can see token verification is failed. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.